Hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Bappi Hamed and I'm your host. So guys, we are continuing with our data structure and algorithm series. So in this video, I'm going to... Uh, so guys, in this video, actually, I'm going to give you the idea of the data structure, like what is data structure and all about. So guys, here, if you see data structure is nothing but a data structure are different ways of organizing the data on your computer that can be used efficiently. So uh, this is the definition of data structure. And uh, to make you understand this thing, actually, here, I kept one example. Let's say we have a couple of woods here. So we have different different colors of woods as you can see. Now if I tell you just give me like black woods from this uh, list of the woods. So what you need to do actually you need to find that particular black woods one by one. So what you can do just uh, move all the woods one by one and you will be just searching for that black woods and whenever you will get that black woods you will return me that particular black woods right. Now let's say if I'm not giving this kinds of uh, list of the woods to you. Now let's say if I have sorted this kinds of woods like that. Okay now let's say we have the sorted woods here. Now it would be very much easy for you to figure out the black woods and you should return me that particular woods very quickly to me, right? So this is the example of the data structure. So basically we have lots of data, okay? Because nowadays if you see all the softwares uses like tons of data, everywhere if you go here in the software industry, okay, you will see the data. So guys, if you see everywhere is data right now, if you're using any kinds of software, you will see that particular software uses tons of data uh, in the backend, right? So uh, now how we can organize this kinds of data. Okay, so this is the idea of the data structure because uh, from this example itself, I think you got some idea. Let's say if I'm giving giving you this particular list of the woods, so it will so it will take uh, lots of time uh, from you actually to figure out that uh, black wood. But if I'm giving this particular series or this particular actually list of the woods to you, so it would be very much easy for you to figure out that particular black woods, right? So it will take less time. So now I think you got the idea why this data structure is required because just to save the time, okay, just to make our task easy, we should structure the data always. Now, if I, I can give you one example, let's say we are using Google search engine, okay, in our day-to-day -day life. So whenever you are searching something there, so you are getting that particular response very quickly, right? So how it is happening because Google has organized their data in a such a way so that whenever you are raising some of the query, it is trying to figure out that particular response very quickly and it is giving you that particular response, okay? So that is why actually data structure is very much required. Now let's give you another idea of this data structure. So guys, as you can see here, one example I kept. So here actually we have two kinds of people. Uh, one is like unsorted order and another is like sorted order. Now guys, uh, let's say if you want to give them like movie tickets, so it would be very much difficult for you to give the tickets to this particular people because as you can see, these people uh, is not sorted. So uh, like they're uh, like kinds of crowd. So it will take lots of time from you to give them a tickets. And there is a possibility actually someone will get, let's say uh, more than two tickets or some, uh, there is a possibility actually someone won't be getting any kinds of ticket. So that's why this uh, like actually list of the people is like very much uh, difficult for you to give them a ticket. Now let's say if you want to give uh, the movie tickets to this particular people, so it would be very much easy for you to give them because as you can see, these people are in a sorted order. So in the data structure, we call them as a queue. Okay, I will tell you what is queue data structure as of now I'm just giving you the name, but I will be discussing this thing uh, like very detailedly. Now see guys, these uh, people are in a sorted order. Now, as you can see now what you can do actually you can uh, give the ticket one by one and these people will take only one particular ticket. So now I think you got the idea like why uh, this data structure is required. Let's say we have these kinds of people. Now we can, if we can make these kinds of people to this particular, uh, like you can say sorted list of the people. Now it would be very much easy for us to give them a ticket right now guys uh, another example I can give you let's say you have taken like lots of book from the libraries and this is the book actually you are having now let's say you want to return this particular book to the library so what you need to do you need to arrange them first of all okay you need to arrange them then you can provide to the library otherwise what will happen actually uh, it would be very much difficult uh, for you to carry this particular book and if you're uh, like arranging them in this particular format so it would be very much easy for you to carry on to the library right so yes guys, uh, this is the idea of the data structure. Uh, so basically here, uh, what we are trying to do, we're trying to like uh, like arrange the data, okay? We are trying to structure the data in such a way so that our uh, like task could be very easy. So whenever, let's say we're looking for any kinds of data, so it would be very much easy for us and it, would, it will take like very less time to figure out that particular data from the entire series, okay? So yes guys, this is the uh, idea of the data structure. I think you uh, got the entire understanding of the data structure and all. So uh, in the next video, actually, I'll be discussing about like what is algorithm. So with that, thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time.